So people had duty to be loyal. People had duty to, to have faith in the system bestowed on them, because that was the working system at the time, and there was no competing system. In other words, there was not there was no better idea on how a kingdom could be run, so that was the best system at the time. Later on, in Ayutthaya period, that was the capital city of a land for 400 and some years. The godlike idea of monarch had been introduced with the Khmer civilization's influence. The idea of a king as a demigod, as a representative from the Hindu gods and the gods beyond these Hindu gods had arrived in our land at the time. So the patron system of helping people or being dependable for people had been changed into the state of protection. If you have loyalty to the king, unquestionable loyalty to the king, you would be protected. In order to show this protection more clearly, people who do otherwise must be punished. So the very system in Ayutthaya period chose or showed that there was an evolution of the system. Some people might call it regressive. Some people would call it progressive. Whatever it might be in your opinion, it was a combination between the benevolence of the great fathers modeled and the great leaders model. In other words, the kings of Yutaya were powerful and the concept of power were realized at the time that if people in power could be benevolent, you could benefit from that power as well. In other words, the UTI period taught Thai people to live with power, how to live with it, how to survive in it, and how to not to be destroyed by it. But uh, Ayutthaya period also trigger the new relationships in a land, the master-slave relationship, the noble and commoners relationship. That was Ayutthaya. Then came Ratanakusin period. I would uh, bypass the 12 years of Thonburi period. In Ratanakosin period, in which we are now, the Jakri dynasty was the starter of this so-called Ratanakosin period. What I it is, is a combination of Ayutthaya and the new skills 